Hi, my name's Chris, and in this video I'll show you how to tear down your Crown PTH50 pump assembly in preparation to rebuild it. The first thing we need to do is remove the pump from the jack frame, and the easiest way to do that is, is to raise the pump, raise the jack about halfway. First thing I want to do is remove the roll pin that fastens the ram into the frame assembly. It's right down here using a 3 16 pin punch. So I'll remove the roll pin, securing the ram into the frame. Pull that all the way out. Next, we're going to remove the steer wheels, allowing us to pull the pump out of the traverse. For that, I'll use the flathead screwdriver. And small snap ring pliers. We'll remove the snap ring holding the steer wheel on the axle. Steer wheel come sliding right off. Okay. And next we will remove the roll pin, securing the axle into the pump stem using a 3/8 pin punch. Axle and wheel will, should slide right off together. Like that. All right. Now I will remove the large snap ring that holds the stem into the traverse. It's right here. It can be a little bit awkward to get off, but you'll want your snap ring pliers set for an external snap ring. So when I press the pliers together, it'll spread the snap ring apart versus internal, which is the other way. Pull that large snap ring right off. And now essentially the pump is free from the, from the rest of the jack, so all we have to do is kind of work it out here. And we should be able to do it with the jack upside down, like so. And then the pivot ball fell out of the top of the ram. That's fine. We'll save and reuse that. And this should slide right out of the stem. At this time, you can inspect your mating parts, whether that be the traverse bearing, different components that you're taking off. Make sure that there's no damage and they're still in good condition. Now that we've removed the pump from the pallet jack frame, we'll put the pump into a vise so we can work on it better and uh, have better access to, to things. Now we can remove our handle assembly. Now, using the 3 16 pin punch, we'll remove the roll pin that's holding the handle axle, securing that in place. Roll pin's out. Next, we'll take the chain out of the handle axle so we don't damage that, and we'll use a three millimeter Allen wrench slide right in the front of the in this little opening you see here 
turn loose the small screw holding the chain into this pin. And of course, diagrams for parts diagrams for all of these pallet jacks can be found on our website, so feel free to review those before you get into a, a big job. Right, we got the screw, retaining screw loose, out. Now we can pull out the chain. chain loose from the pin. Now the pin should just slide right out. I'll tap on it a little bit with this pin foot. Slide that handle axle right out and now your handle's off. <laughs>